What's up, guys? It is Bow Time bringing you another commentary, and I'm just so thankful to be here, guys. And so this is another episode of Sports Talk. And before you come to its assumptions, I, I, mean, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna be using the FMAS the whole game. I actually switched pretty quick. I don't even know what I was thinking when I used the FMAS. So um, it's a pretty average game. It's just well, wow, look at that. I hate when that happens. But it's a pretty average game. But I'm using the Spaz silencer, so. Yeah, but this is not the point. I'm going to be talking about some games right quick. I better get to the point quick before I run out of time. So, uh, first I want to just talk about the Penn State Ohio game. It's going pretty good right now. I'm watching it. And I kind of don't hate me. Actually, I know one person is going to dislike it right away. But it, which probably is going to be Avery. The I will leave his link in the description. He's a big Ohio State fan. And just tell you, Avery, um, Michigan's going to beat um, Ohio State next, t uh, next week. So, just get to the game. Penn State is kind of beating um, Ohio State right now, 20-14. to 14, And I don't know why, but Penn State seems to be more in control of the game. So, I believe they're going to win the game. So, I'm just going to talk about the Michigan game against Nebraska because that's my team. It's Michigan ranked number 18 versus Nebraska 16. They put a beating on them. I'm sorry to those Nebraska fans. Please don't dislike the video about this. But seriously, man. They beat them by 28 points. It was a beatdown. It was like 45-17. We had the ball for like 40 minutes of the game, and they only had 20 minutes. We get, we just kept on tr the, get, forcing turnovers, and we just totally dominated them. And, yeah, we just dominated them all over the place, like all over the field, offense and defense. So that's my opinions on that. And college basketball, let's get to that. There's nothing much going on right now. Not that many big games, but there has been some upsets. You know, Vanderbilt lost. I know UCLA lost. I'm not sure about any other teams. Sorry about that, guys. You know, this best answer sucks. But, yeah. Also, UNC, my hometown team, doing pretty good right now. And they're still number one, and hopefully they can keep up that up. And what I'm hoping is they get over a 30-plus kill seat. I mean, well, I just say kill. 30 plus win season. That be good. that be like I'd be so happy if they got um a perfect season, but that's kind of unlikely. But you never know; anything can happen. And also, my Charlotte basketball team, they're doing pretty good. You know, they just lost a game, I believe. But you know, it's the beginning of the season. You still got to get used to it. They got a new coach, so I mean, ho hopefully you can like make up that by winning a few games in a row. But you know, Charlotte's not the best team, obviously, but. I hope they do good this year because we've been going through a lot of bad seasons and all that. So, yeah, that's it about college basketball. To the NBA, obviously they're trying to talk us, like tell us that there's going to be an NBA this year or there's probably going to be an NBA, but I doubt it. There's going to be no NBA, which totally sucks because I love watching NBA games. And it's just so fun. Hopefully they can fix it by next year because right now they're not making any progress at all, it seems. So, yeah, to the NFL. Panthers are doing pretty good. I'm talking about a lot of Carolina teams because I'm a, um, Carol I live in Carolina. But, yeah, Panthers are doing pretty good. But they're only 2-7, and seven, but they're fun to watch. They got a really good quarterback, obviously, Cam Newton. He can make big plays. And he, I believe he has a big future ahead of him. Hall of Fame future. So, and also Vic, injury update. Yep, he's not going to be playing this week against, I can't remember what team it is, but two broken ribs. You know, you can't play with through that. I mean, Whenever you breathe, it hurts, so it's going to be too hard to play, and he's not hes not expected to play at all. So, and I just picked one game out of the, um, what do you call it? Yeah, I just picked one game out of it, that, what I think is the best game. You know, this week has a, pretty much a, a lot of average games, but you got the Ravens against the Bengals. They both have really powerful defenses, but I believe the Ravens have a little bit better off of offense, which is going to give them the final advantage. So I believe the Ravens are going to win this game, especially because it's at their home. There's not much of a home field advantage in NFL, but I think the Ravens are going to take it. So what else is there to talk about? Well, I'm not going to go too in-depth with this. I'm just going to say congratulations to you guys living in Chicago. Your NHL, NHL team is number one, which is pretty good, and you got a pretty impressive team. But the Carolina Hurricanes, man, they don't got a team at all, which sucks. It's just amazing how your team can go from winning the Stanley Cup a few years ago into pretty much nothing. I think it's because he lost their court. I mean, their um, goalie, or what do you call? I can't remember what it's called. I think you call it goalie. But yeah, so not much else to say here, and I'm just going to give you a little update on, on another college sport. College soccer. Charlotte, you know, I live right beside them. I go to their soccer games a lot. 
well, they just advanced to the top 32 in the nation in the NCAA tournament, which is pretty impressive. Like, I mean, Charlotte, they got a pretty good team. They're, like, usually ranked number 10. I know a lot of you guys are probably, like, stop talking about soccer. Well, soccer's my favorite sport pretty much, so I'm going to talk about it. And, yeah, Charlotte has a really great team, and hopefully they can make something happen because they're playing at Alabama for the um, round of 32, which is a really hard game. And hopefully they can win that, which I think they might, but barely pull it off. But I don't think they're going to go all the way, unfortunately. So that's my thoughts on sports. And also, next week is going to be a really fun week because I'm going to be going over the rivalries in college football. So that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. And I'm signing out, guys. Bye.